when a, a person is in the emergency presenting with a psychiatric emergency. Um, it's no different than any other emergency that presents to the um, emergency room. The person will be seen by the front staff and triage through, and depending on the urgency of the, the presentation, they'll be put in a, a certain order in the queue of being seen by first the emergency room physician. The emergency room physician typically does a, kind of a, a, a brief psychiatric review, and if they feel that they're able to handle the situation and maybe refer the person on to outpatient services and prescribe some medication, then that might be all the person needs. That gets done, they get discharged from the emergency room and then gets followed up in the outpatient setting uh, a few days later. If it's more urgent or more complicated than that, then what the emergency room physician will do is contact our department. There's always a psychiatrist on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so they'll be asked to come in and uh, what will happen is the psychiatric emergency nurse will start the process of gathering information from the patient, uh, family members that brought them in. They'll also gather background information that might be available in the old records. And then finally the uh, psychiatrist will come in and finish up the assessment and make really the ter the ter the determination on whether someone needs to be admitted or not. Um, and the admission can be either to the inpatient unit at the Hope Centre or to a um, standalone facility in North Vancouver called Magnolia House, which is a house that's about a kilometre away from the hospital. It's fully staffed with uh, nurses as well as two psychiatrists and it's kind of a a less institutional feel uh, inpatient unit.